हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द इंटरेस्टिंग टाइप ऑफ रिएक्शन मैकेनिज्म दैट इज आल्सो नोन एज द एस एन वन सी बी रिएक्शन मैकेनिज्म एंड वी ऑल नो अबाउट टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द न्यूक्लियोफ्लिक सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन दैट जनरली हैपेंस इन द ट्रांजिशन मेटल कॉम्प्लेक्सेज वन इज द डिसोशिएटिव मैकेनिज्म एंड एनोदर इज एसोशिएटिव इन द डिसोशिएटिव न्यूक्लियोफ्लिक सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन वाट हैपेंस the complex will firstly dissociate it will firstly leave this migrating group this migrating group will firstly migrate and it will form this activated complex and in the next step the next step is very fast step and in this step this nucleophile will attack it on this complex and it will form the product so in the dissociative reaction mechanism it proceeds by the first order reaction mechanism it means the rate of the reaction is is vary with the concentration of on, concentration of only one reactant species while in the associative reaction mechanism what happens in this case firstly the incoming nucleophilic will attack on this complex and it will form a associative complex this complex is a associative complex because in this complex both the migrating group and the incoming group both are attached to the metal so it is a associated type of complex and in the next step that is fast one in this step this migrating group will migrate and it will form the product so as we can see in this case the this type of reactions are generally second order reactions because the rate of the reaction depends upon the concentration of two reactant species but there are also some reactions that neither proceeds by the sn1 reaction mechanism nor by the sn2 reaction mechanism there is another mechanism by which they proceeds for example if we under if we consider a reaction of this penta amine cobalt complex with oh minus ion and if we assume that the reaction proceeds by the sn2 mechanism then how the reaction will proceed we are only assuming so assume that the reaction will be like that co nh3 whole 5 x plus 2 will react with oh minus ions in the slow step and it will form a activated complex of the type co nh3 whole 5 x oh plus ion here this x is the halide ion this may be any chloride ion bromide ion or iodide ion now in the next step this activated complex will undergo the dissociation it means it will leave this migrating group the x minus this will be leave out this will come leave out it means we can write here minus x minus so it will leave out and we will get the product molecule this step will be the fast step so if the reaction proceeds by the sn2 mechanism then the rate of the reaction will depend upon both the concentration of complex ion and on the concentration of oh minus ions now think what happens in actual conditions in actual conditions when the concentration of oh minus ions is lower at the lower concentration of the nucleophile the reaction's rate depends upon the concentration of oh minus ions it means the reaction is of second order but at the higher concentration of oh minus ions the reaction becomes of first order it means it does not depends upon the concentration of oh minus ions it only depends upon the concentration of complex ions it means it becomes of the type sn1 so why it happens and another thing is that the rate of the sn2 reactions is directly proportional to the nucleophilic strength of the ligand higher the nucleophilic strength higher will be the rate of the reaction so if we think we see that the oh minus ion and there are another nucleophilic agents like ncs minus no2 minus n3 minus if we replace this oh minus ion we use another nucleophiles like this then the rate of the reaction does not depends upon their concentration the rate of the reaction depends only upon the concentration of oh minus ions not upon the concentration of these ions although they have the same nucleophilic strength but the rate of the reaction does not depends upon their concentration and it cannot be explained by either the sn2 mechanism or by the sn1 so there was given another reaction mechanism that is known as sn1 cb reaction mechanism 
द एस एन वन सी बी रिएक्शन मैकेनिज्म वॉज फर्स्टली प्रपोज बाई द गैरिक एंड दिस मैकेनिज्म प्रोसीड्स इन द केस ऑफ द डी प्रोटोनेबल लेगेंट्स वैन द डी प्रोटोनेबल लेगेंट्स सच एज एन एस थ्री और एस टू ओ आर प्रजेंट इन द मेटल कॉम्प्लेक्स वट इज मीन बाई डी प्रोटोनेबल लेगेंट्स इट मीन्स एनी लेगेंट दैट कैन ईजीली लॉस अ प्रोटोन दैट कैन बी एब्सट्रेक्टेड बाई अ बेस सो द रिएक्शन प्रोसीड्स इन द थ्री डिफरेंट स्टेप्स द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज द एब्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ द प्रोटोन फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द लेगेंट by the oh minus ion this oh minus ion here is acting as a strong base and it can abstract one of the proton from one of the ammonia ligands and this will abstract one thing here should be noted that this will abstract the uh, h plus ion from that of the ammonia ligand that is trans to this cl minus ion so what will happen as the result of the abstraction it will convert this one of the ns3 ligand into the ns2 minus ligand so we will get another complex that is co ns3 hole for ns2 cl plus and we will get one molecule of water this step is the reversible step and it is the first step in the next step this complex will undergo the removal of the cl minus ion it means the cl minus ion will be migrate why it happens because this nh2 minus ligand is a pi acceptor ligand and it will form a com it will form a pi complex with the metal and pi complex is formed very easily in the five coordinated state as compared to the seven coordinated state so it will enhance the migration of the cl minus ion so the cl minus ion will migrate more easily in this complex and it will migrate and it will form the complex cons3 hole 4 ns2 plus 2 plus cl minus this is the slow step and hence it will be the rate determining step so the rate of the reaction will be determined by this step in the next step this complex will abstract a proton from the water molecule and it will form the product molecule that is cons3 hole 5 oh plus 2 so from the three steps we can see what is the rate determining step the second step is the rate determining step because it is the slowest step so the rate of the reaction will be given by r is equal to k2 times the concentration of co ns3 hole 4 ns2 cl plus ion now this complex is an activated complex and its concentration will be at any time will be equal to 0 because we will apply the steady state approximation on this complex because the rate of its conjunction will be equal to rate of its production both will be equal so we can apply the steady state approximation and we can write k1 times concentration of co ns3 hole 5 cl plus 2 times concentration of oh minus will be equal to k minus 1 times concentration of co ns3 hole 4 ns2 cl plus ion so we can find out the concentration of this activated complex will be equal to k1 upon k minus 1 times concentration of co ns3 hole 5 cl plus 2 ion times concentration of oh minus ion and we can put this value in our rate equation and we will get the rate of equation the rate of the reaction will be equal to k2 times k1 divided by k minus 1 times concentration of co ns3 hole 5 cl plus 2 ion times concentration of oh minus ion we can put a single constant for all these constant and we will say it k so the rate of the reaction will be equal to k times concentration of the reactant complex times concentration of oh minus ion from this reaction from this equation we can say that the rate of the reaction depends upon the concentration of the complex complex species as well as on the concentration of oh minus ions but at the higher concentration of the oh minus ions what will happen at the higher concentration the concentration will be very high so the rate of the reaction becomes independent of its concentration and it does not depends upon it so the reaction becomes of the first order so these are all the explanation for this reaction now the another thing is that 
why the rate of the reaction depends upon the concentration of OH minus ion, not on the concentration of N3 minus ion, NCS minus ion, and NO2 minus ions. We have said that both have the same nucleophilic strength, same strong nucleophile, but this is not so strong base as it is. It is a very strong base, but these are weak bases. These cannot abstract a proton from the ammonia ligand or water ligand, but it can abstract a proton. So the reaction proceeds. The first step in the reaction was the abstraction of proton that was happening by this ligand, not by these ligands. So for the formation of this mechanism, the first step is the essential step and that will proceed only when the ligand is the strong base. So the reaction proceeds only in this case by the SN1CB mechanism. In this case, the reaction cannot proceed by the SN1CB mechanism because these are the weak bases. So this is all about the SN1CB reaction mechanism. Thank you.